Today I'd like to talk about operating expenses, especially as they pertain to oil and gas reserves evaluation. So why are operating expenses important? Because they affect the cash flow and reserves value. Because when we do a reserve report, we project future cash flow and you have to just subtract out the operating expense to get the cash flow. So it's very important that we get good numbers. And also, we have to have operating expense to determine the economic limit of each well because there's no reserves after the economic limit has been reached. So what are operating expenses? They're normal ongoing costs to operate a well or field. It can include the field personnel, pumpers, supplies, water disposal, compression. Sometimes water disposal is a big, big number. Chemicals and equipment maintenance. And it could also include ongoing well repairs like pump change outs, tubing and rods. You know, that's normal part of the operating of the field, not, not a one-time cost. But it does not include capital expenses such as drilling new wells or recompleting the wells to other zones. And generally, we do not include production taxes or ad valorem taxes in operating expenses. So operating expenses can be modeled as fixed, you know, with so much per month, or variable, which is so much per barrel. So there's two ways to look at it. So how do we, turn, how do we determine operating expense? The best way is to analyze historical data, because that's the best predictor of what it's going to cost in the future. But if we don't have historical data, we can use published data from similar fields in the area. Or we can estimate it from experience with, from similar fields and situations. If we model all the expenses as fixed, we will get lower reserves and, and value, which is pessimistic. If we model all expenses as variable, we get higher reserves and value, which is optimistic. If possible, we want to estimate operating expenses on a per well basis, and usually it's dollars per month. Here's an example of some historical operating expense that the operator has provided to us, and we're going to do the reserves. We have two wells, well one and well two, and we have about 12 months of historical data. So that gives us a good amount of data to look at how much it costs each month uh, to operate these wells. For instance, the average of well number one is $4,419 per month. But well two is a little more expensive. It costs $8,610 a month. So those, those would be averages we could use in the economic projections. And that's considered a fixed cost. And we do that a lot on individual wells. We use that method. Now here's an example of some historic operating expense data from an operator. But it's a field level expense. They don't have operation expense by well. They just have it for the total field, but we know there's five producing wells in this field. So in this case, we have about 10 months of data. Uh, we have stuff like contract labor. You have to look at all these categories and how they, if they're consistent, you have to analyze the data. Uh, contract labor is a big one. On this one, compressor expense is uh, a big expense. And then the total per each month is down here. All right. so. If we just take all the field expenses, it averages $52,000 a month. And if you had 10 wells, you could say that's about 10,000, I mean, five wells, you could say that's about uh, $10,000 per month. But that would be considered all fixed costs. But if we look at the amount of oil produced each month, we could calculate how much expense per barrel. In this case, it's $13.50 per barrel. So that would be, that would be a, a variable way of uh, projecting expenses. But either one of those might not be perfect. Sometime we want to maybe have partially fixed and partially variable. So we have to estimate all these factors for the different categories. Uh, for instance, uh, compression, we're estimating that it's 50% fixed and 50% variable because as the wells decline, you, you won't need as much compression, but you're always going to have one or two in the field, you know, most likely, and you're not going to get it to zero. So it's some factors, you can estimate that based on experience of all the, uh, all the categories of expense. So in this case, it's 28,000 per month fixed and 24,000 variable. So if we put all that together, we get a combination method, which we're gonna use 5,600 fixed 
per well per month and a variable cost of 621. So that's a, that's a more uh, reasonable way to do it than either the fixed or variable or, uh, separately. So that's just some examples of how you do it and it's real important when you're doing reserves. So if you have any questions, just please give me a call.